something you don't get to do every day. Take a white knuckle sail on a private sailboat valued at 90 million dollars and custom built to be fast, luxurious, and very, very large. At 246 feet long, with a mass that towers above the ocean at 292 feet, Mirabella 5 is the biggest sloop in the world, and it weighs in at 1,004 tons. It required a visionary to dream her up and millions of dollars to make her real. The result is a powerful nautical marvel, and the owner has invited us to go for a ride of a lifetime. I decided I was going to build the largest sloop in the world. It's been a great challenge, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Mirabella 5 has such massive sails that the power that it achieves is unbelievable. To be heeled over on one side with water crashing over the sides and cruising with wind just flying through the sails is really an impressive moment, and one that usually stays with you for a while. Mirabella 5 has redefined nautical engineering standards, resulting in a state-of-the-art, jaw-dropping super yacht. Our journey starts in Monaco, without a doubt one of the most glamorous places in the world. A tiny princedom on the Mediterranean coast, it's always been a favorite playground for royalty and jet setters. And since the toy of choice for these wealthy players is the super yacht, Monaco is also one of the best places to check out the biggest boats. It's here where we met up with Mirabella 5. One of Mirabella's biggest achievements is that she has all the spunk and power of a sailboat with the size and accommodations of a luxury motor yacht. Let's check out the interior. As soon as we step inside, it becomes apparent that no detail has been overlooked. Custom cabinetry and paneling using pale cherry wood and oak flooring are combined with a neutral palette striking a mood of upscale minimalism. The main salon is so expansive that it features three separate areas for entertaining. Martinis at the graciously curved bar are sure to start the evening off right. Then it's dinner around a lily-strewn table. Twelve guests can dine in an atmosphere worthy of a five-star restaurant. Even with a big group of guests, there's room for intimate conversations in one of the two sofa arrangements. A beautifully crafted detail is the inlaid walnut and rosewood game table by Lindley's of London. Everything is so spacious and elegant that it's hard to believe we're on a sailboat built for speed. My wife was really totally responsible for the interior of the boat. All of the furniture, bringing in the antiques, these are all things that she spent months and months on to get just the way she wanted it. The master suite is bigger than most presidential suites in luxury hotels. We enter through a spacious study, a versatile room that's as comfortable for work as it is for intimate entertaining. Just imagine curling up with a good book on this double-wide sofa and its abundance of throw pillows. The private study leads into a richly appointed bedroom with silk upholstered king-sized bed, lush oriental rugs, and Regency antiques. In the bathroom, however, nothing so fancy is needed to create a romantic atmosphere. Just candles and bubbles. And the natural luxury of pure white lilies. And it's not just the owners that can bask in such luxury. Down this corridor, lined with contemporary nautical photographs, lie six beautiful staterooms, each with spacious, comfortable accommodations for family and guests. From the wheelhouse, it's the view of Monaco that seems to shimmer like gems. And all the high-tech equipment is just as brilliant. It's what keeps this enchanted domain connected to the outside world. All the latest in navigation and communication systems. But for an even stronger shine factor, just step out on the top deck. All the magic of a super yacht vacation comes to play in a moment like this. A candlelit evening under the stars in one of the most coveted locations on Earth. And to top things off, Mirabella's crew has concocted some colorful cocktails that can only add to the glow. It's so romantic and peaceful up here that it's hard to believe that during the day, this is where all the action takes place. All the luxury might have made you forget that this is, before all, a sleek and powerful sailing machine, which we're lucky enough to take out for a spin along the French Riviera, from Monaco to Gulf Juan. As we leave port, we're reminded that Mirabella is also a state-of-the-art motor yacht equipped with two sophisticated V12 1,000 horsepower engines that transmit 800 kilowatts of power through a gearbox to the propeller. 
Once Mirabella's custom-built 23-foot tender is safely stored in its special garage, we're ready to hit the high seas. The captain is required to have knowledge of both motor yachts and sailboats. When it actually comes time to bring a yacht of 247 feet into a sailing position, it really is a crucial moment. The level of responsibility is actually quite high. The main task, obviously, is to put up the mainsail. It takes six of us to do that. One is driving the boat, there's one controlling the sail, controlling the, the angle of the boom. Then we have somebody standing forward who is passing on the, the, the hand signals. And then we have a couple of guys down below working the winches. The teamwork and technology all come into play to prepare Mirabella 5 for what she's built to do, cruise the open sea. Once the sail is up, it's a truly exhilarating sight. The mainsail weighs one and a half tons, and the Genoa in front is the largest sail in the world at 18,000 square feet. Special ropes had to be custom designed and produced to handle the incredible pressure of the wind gushing into the colossal sail area needed to propel Mirabella's 1,004 tons. It's a very powerful machine. Once we get a decent breeze, the thing powers along it comfortably at 16, 17 knots. And she'll go faster, but I just haven't had a chance to really take advantage of that yet. The conditions turned out to be ideal for pushing Mirabella to the limits that day. Like a floating record book, the biggest sloop in the world with the biggest sail and the tallest mast in the world also broke her own speed limit. With the wind howling and the waves crashing, we reached speeds of 19 knots, the fastest Mirabella has ever gone. The pleasure of, of sailing at the speed you sail at, with no noise, no engine, no smoke, nothing to bother you, is an experience that really is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The Mirabella 5, a once-in-a-lifetime experience on board a once-in-a-lifetime boat.